Lesson 2-2 two, two, Solving Multi-Step Equations A multi-step equation is an equation or inequality that requires two or more steps to solve. An example of a multi-step equation is this. Do you think you can figure it out? Before that, let's go over the steps of a multi-step equation. Step 1. Clearing the equations of fractions and decimals. Step 2. Use a distributive property to remove parentheses on each side. Step 3. Combining like terms. Step 4, undoing addition and subtraction. And step 5, undoing multiplication and division. Now that we have the steps, let's try it. Here to help us today is my friend Dennis, and he's going to demonstrate this problem so that you guys can get it. Let's get started. So, since there are no fractions or decimals, we're going to go to step 2 and use the distributive property. So 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 5 is 20. Now we're going to add 20 to each side of the equation, as Dennis is doing right here. Equaling 32, and canceling itself out, and then you bring down 4x. So it's 4x equals 32. Now we're going to divide both sides by 4. x equaling 8. Good job, Dennis! Now that we understand how to do these problems, let's try another one. Before we start working on this equation, let's take a look at it. As we can see, there are two variables in this equation. It's different from the last problem because now we're going to be combining like terms. Now that we understand how to do this, let's continue. So we add 6a and 1a, and that equals 7a, bring down 15 and 36. Now we subtract 15 from both sides of the equation. Seven A equals 21. Now we divide each side by seven and A equals three. Good job, Dennis. Have fun. Now that we've done that problem, let's try solving an equation that contains fractions. Before we start, let's take a look at our equation. So here we have 2 over 3 plus 3k over 4 equals 71 over 12. Now, unlike the other steps to the other equations, we have to find the lowest common denominator. After that, we have to multiply that common denominator to each side of the equation. Now let's see what Dennis is doing. As you can see, 12 is the LCD. Now he's using the distributive property. So 12 times 2 over 3 and 12 times 3k over 4 and 12 times 71 over 12. Now he's going to divide it. So tw 24 divided by 3 is 8 and 36k divided by 4 is 9k and 852 divided by 12 71. Now he's going to subtract 8 from both sides. Now he's going to bring down 9k and divide 63 by 9 and the answer is k equals 7. We Good job Dennis! Once again I applaud you. Now that we understand how to do these kinds of problems, let's do another one. Okay, the first thing we have to do is find the LCD. Looking at this equation, the LCD is 8. So we multiply 8 to both sides of the equation. Using the distributive property, we multiply 8 and x and 8 and 5. So it's 8x subtract 40 over 8. And then on the other side, it is 56 over 8. Now we bring down the 8x and then you divide 40 by 8 and that equals 5 and then you divide 56 and 8 and that equals 7 and now you do the inverse operations and add 5 to each side and now there's 8x and 12 left and then you divide 8 by each side. And that is a fraction. So we're going to simplify that fraction and turn into a mixed 
number, and that's 1 over 2. Now that we know how to solve an equation, let's solve a word problem. John's father is 45. He is 15 years older than twice John's age. How old is John? And to help us with this problem is our friend Sean, because Dennis didn't want to do it anymore, but that's fine, it's fine. We got Sean, he's smart too. So, Sean is underlining all the important information that he needs to solve this. Now that Sean has all the information that he needs, he's going to convert the word problem into an equation so that he can solve it. So what he's writing is 2j plus 15 equals 45. And the j is the variable, and it stands for John's age. Now Sean is going to continue solving the problem. So he's going to subtract 15 from both sides, and he's going to bring down 2j and 30. And then he's going to divide by 2, and j equals 15. And we got the answer. And that's how you solve a word problem. Now that we went over how to do these equations, let's look at the common mistakes you can make while doing them. Most of the time it's Smith's calculations, like adding 8 and 11 and getting 21, or using the distributive property incorrectly, or not combining the like terms together. While using fractions, sometimes you can make a mistake by multiplying the LCD by the numerator and denominator or not multiplying the LCD to both sides of the equations. Thanks for watching and I hope I was able to help you understand how to solve multi-step equations. Until next time, bye!